Hello friends! Today I'm back fixing your coordinates. Woo! Today I'm going to be looking at pieces to help you complete your coordinate from Devil Inspired. I'm wearing this coordinate from Devil Inspired and I know it's uh, strange of me to be giving coordinate advice considering that I've only worn this dress like one or two ways, but I really like the ways that I've worn it. <laughs> I really like wearing it with this hat and being complete. That being said, there's no shame in wearing the same coordinate multiple times if you really, really love it. I'm going to be looking at four coordinates that were submitted to me on Facebook. If you want to submit coordinates for future videos, check the link below. So the first one is from Dizzy underscore 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 dreamer. I think that's three underscores. Hey Lore, this is a pic of my first ever attempt at a cord, which I wore to my first ever meetup last weekend. I'm mostly happy with it, yet I feel that the shoes are off and the color of the socks doesn't quite work. I would also appreciate some advice in general accessorizing. I don't think that there's anything wrong with this coordinate at all. I think it's perfect. I think that it is very much like the standard Lolita coordinate, like it is very cookie cutter. It's still very lovely, but I thought maybe I could offer some more advice for you to wear it in different ways. Why are they hammering now? I can't believe this is your first attempt at a cord for your first meetup. It's not fair, you have to have an Eda phase. Why is everybody putting out these coordinates right away that are like really good and really cute? Oh, I don't understand. You're not allowed to look this good at your first attempt at a cord. I won't allow it. You look like a seasoned pro. From this photo, it doesn't look like the pink of the socks is off. It might have looked different in different lighting in real life, but to me here it looks like they really work. And there's definitely a lot of different pinks in the print. I really, really like these striped horizontal stripes with this print. I mean, I love horizontal striped socks and tights in general, so I'm thinking maybe for the future you could try out doing like full tights because these are like over the knee socks in like pink and white stripes or red and white stripes would look really cute with this because there's reds in the print or even blue or whatever this base color is. I think it's blue. I think that this coordinate would look really cute with a boater hat. I feel like a boater, a boater hat with this current wig color might look a little bit flat so maybe try a different wig color with a butter hat. I'm thinking maybe like a short curly like brown wig or like tan and blonde split wig or even like a black wig. I think it would also be really fun and really out there if you got like a really curly red short wig. Now hear me out, not a natural red but like a really vibrant red like that in the print. I feel like it would have a similar vibe to older gothic Luda Bible advertisements and it'd be like a really fun artsy way to coordinate this and I think it would be really nice with a long blouse too. These shoes are really cute of course you could pull out more colors like you could wear this sort of Saks blue shoe which is really difficult because there's eight million different types of Saks but you could try it or uh, red or pink too. Elizabeth Bride of Death was my dream dress for over a year and now that I own it, I feel like I have no idea how to style it. That is so relatable. <laughs> for me, whenever I'm shopping or looking at a dress, I have started to try to imagine myself styling five different ways before I buy it with things that I already own because I've had this a lot throughout my time collecting Lolita 2. I'll see a dress and just love it, but then I get it and I realize I don't have any pieces for this. What was I doing? So that's a good train of thought for those of you who are building your little wardrobe and shopping and looking for pieces. Before you buy something, try to look at it and imagine what you already have or what pieces you might need to also get in order to coordinate it five ways. This coordinate is really lovely. I really like your hair with it. It's so beautiful. This was submitted in December, so I don't know if you have the same hair color, but I really love it with this look. This colorway is so tricky because this is sort of a more gothic print, but then the colorway is a vivid blue and it's more leaning towards the classic style. And you're asking me for advice 
a super sweet Lolita. So I'm worried that the advice that I might give you might not be in line with your style, but I'm just gonna go with what I know and what I would do with it. I think that this would be really cute with a blouse that is more sheer. Again, I don't think there's anything wrong with this current coordinate. I'm just trying to think of more ways for you to style it. I think that there's also a lot of colors that you could pick out from in this print. Stay away from the reds and burgundies unless you're just gonna throw in like a burgundy or red shoe. I'm just thinking that if you put in a red blouse, it might be a little bit too much. The more I zoom into this, it gets really blurry. <laughs> There's sort of like detailing around the portraits that almost reminds me of like drippy pearls. So I think that doing something with like drippy pearls would be really nice, especially with um, blouses that have kind of like a high collar to kind of fill in that space with some extravagant accessories. I think this would also look really nice with like a silver gray long wig, maybe like a blouse that's sheer but similar to this color blue to almost make it look like a one piece. I think that this color where you have a lot of different options, you can wear it in more of like a classic way, more of a sweet way. I don't know. I can also see this with a really pretty, elegant headpiece of some sort with like drippy pieces. There's also so many different outerwear pieces on Devil Inspired that could completely change this look. I absolutely love the chiffon fabric overdress and it's such an easy way to just throw it onto your JSK and make it a completely new coordinate. Another way that you could coordinate this JSK is to cover up the top part by wearing a jacket, a capelet, and focus more on the skirt. This would kind of like block out with having um, a solid color up top and you bring out more of the focus in the print. The underscore mad underscore queen just got this Magic Princess OP. I honestly don't know what I could pair it with other than the colors of pink and blue and not sure what style to use, like the right shoes, socks, or wig styles I would normally use. I got it off Wonderwell. Thanks for the advice, by the way. I would love some tips. Facebook hates me, so I will be attaching another two photos. I love the Magic Magical Princess OP. Magic Princess OP? Magic Princess OP. I love it. It's so hard to coordinate. It kind of looks like a JSK with a blouse because the top of it is like this sheer blouse and it's such a solid color with the rest of the print that it's so hard to coordinate because it's just all of this sil solid lilac. It's absolutely beautiful, but I specifically bought the JSK in this release, even though I love the OP, just because it was easier to coordinate. I'm gonna give you some ideas and I know this is really harsh, but also there is a possibility that if you get tired of it and you wear it all the ways that you can, you can always look to trade it on Lace Market or sell it and then get the JSK. And I'm talking like way in the future when you feel like you've tried everything and you might be tired of it. Who knows, you might try a couple other things and really love it and then just rewear those coordinates over and over again. But I know firsthand that this OP is so hard to coordinate. Your hair color looks really lovely with it. And I like these little buns, but I feel like you have hair that's like short and curly. I feel like if you just took it out of these buns and like loosened it and made it really big, it would be really cute. Even though these colors aren't super prominent in the print, like green and blue, they still are in there and they're complementary to it. So I think that your hair would be absolutely beautiful with this. I think that you can also pull the gold from the keys or wands, I'm not sure what I think they're keys. Um, and the castles, like that gold, you could pull it into with like, everyone's take a shot because I'm recommending berets again, but you could wear like a gold beret with it and like gold shoes. That's another color that you could pull out of it. There's also multiple different shades of blue that you could bring to it. The only thing I can think about coordinating on top of it with it being such a solid JSK would be more outerwear maybe some sort of um, peignoir or an overskirt too would be really cute because this print is so over the top that it might be nice to have a sheer overskirt to kind of create just another layer of interest to it and make it a little bit softer. I think that these ruffle hairbands would be so cute with it. And you asked about wig colors too. I was really distracted by your own hair because it's really beautiful. This was submitted in October, so again, I don't, I'm not sure if your hair is still this color. There's, I mean, so many different wig colors you could do with. Like, there isn't a lot of wig colors you couldn't 
put into this because I think that a lot of natural colors would look really nice, like black, blonde, a bunch of different shades of blonde, brown, all of the above. I think that also it would look good with pink, maybe like a softer bubblegum pink. You could also go for like a monochrome look and do like a purple or maybe like more of a natural purple color, like a taro color. You could do a wig like this. I love wearing this wig with Magical Princess, like a blended pastel rainbow wig. It just pushes it into like this extreme OTT suite kind of style and it's really lovely. I feel like you can pick like a dark blue, this kind of blue around the bow, that kind of shoe. I understand that they are hard to find. Or gold, as I mentioned, or white. I wish you the best of luck with coordinating Magical Princess OP, and I would actually love to see like updates if you coordinate it different ways. I would love to see that. Janae Hanna, this cord was my first, and I always have trouble trying to coordinate it another way. I always get stuck using the same pieces, and I'm not sure what else to do with it. To make it look more fun? I do love this coordinate. I love the gloves. Are they gloves and wrist cuffs or just gloves? Those gloves are very lovely. Hmm. I think that there's there's so much you can do with this because it's so simple, because it's just like a pink and black lace dress. You could kind of decide on one color to bring into it to add and then just stick with all of your pieces being that other color. I would try something maybe like gold because these gloves have a little bit of gold in it. You could wear a gold peignoir, overlay, something to add another layer to it. Hello, it's me, Editor Lore. I also realized while I was editing this that it would be really cute to add in red, to choose one shade of red and then replace your current black accessories like your gloves, your shoes, your headpiece with red. And I think that this would be a really cute Valentine's Day look. And then this is, I believe this is a one piece, but it's the type of one piece where they have the mini sleeves. And I think that a lot of people steer away coordinating blouses with it because they're like, oh, it's the one piece, you can't. But I find that with these mini sleeves, you can kind of cr scrunch them up smaller and then wear a nice blouse with it. And even if you want to cover the sleeves a little bit more, you can have a blouse or a neck piece, like a ruffle that you can add on top of it to kind of cover this area. Definitely working in gold or even silver would be really nice with this. You could have like a gold or a silver headpiece. It would be nice to have a little bit more color on your head and then on in your shoes. Or maybe to have um, a lighter color tights slash socks with these black shoes. I also think that this coordinate would look good with really, really long gloves. And I feel like people steer away from wearing long gloves in Lolita, but I used to see it a lot in older Golf of Lolita Bibles and I love that look and it looks so elegant and lovely. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> There's so many possibilities that you could do with this. I feel like this is a really versatile piece. I'm also curious, I'm not sure if the bow right here on the chest could be removed, but if it could, I feel like you could add that to other plain hats and kind of incorporate maybe a non-Lolita hat into this cord by moving that bow pearl piece. I hope this advice was helpful to those of you who submitted and those of you watching who are thinking about how to coordinate your cords differently. Coordinate your cords, it's a lot of Let me know if you try out any of these coordinates, any of my advice and change it up. Uh, just tag me in an Instagram story, I would love to see and I will share them too. I totally welcome all of you to leave advice in the comments below, I've noticed that in this series, I go through the comments and people have thought of even more interesting ways to coordinate it that I didn't think of. I'm sure that all of these lovely Lolitas would love to hear your comments too. I am hoping to do a live version of fixing your coordinates where I can have a chat with all of you and you can help give your input as well. So stay tuned for that. As always, stay lovely. Oh, <laughs>